So uh, let's say this is the old Samsung and this is the new Samsung phone. So I'm going to be transferring all the content I have on this phone into the new phone. So what I need to look for is the Samsung Smart Switch, which is already installed on this one. If it's not already installed, you need to install it. I'm going to show you how to install it on the on the other phone. So let's say we're transferring from this phone now. Now, as you can see, Samsung uh, Switch Mobile transfer content and data from other phones or tablet to your new Samsung Galaxy device. And uh, you need to select... Uh, your old device this is um, an android phone which is samsung so you just click on um, android device here on this phone we don't have it installed so you go to play store and tap on this google play store here in order to search and we look for samsung smart switch it's already there so we just select this one and here it is samsung electronics Co. so and um, hit on install um, just click on accept this is to let you know that this application would need access to your uh, device app history identity calendar contact sms phones all these will be transferable uh, if you want to transfer from this to this one so just hit on con and then um, hit on install and accept and we just need to wait for about a minute or two for the application to be downloaded the total file size should be around 11 megabytes 7% now okay ready to install now Okay, it's installing now just need to have some patience and probably take some champagne or all right it's completed now so just hit on open uh, okay it says uh, this is the license agreement just click on agree and then the um, it says select your old device so the old device if it is ios which is um, iphone just select ios if it's blackberry select blackberry but because we're using samsung to samsung so we select android and then you click on start on both phones start and then start so it says select whether this device will be sending or receiving content so you say receiving and here you tap on connect now it has given you a pin code if the phone is not connecting automatically what you just need to do is to scroll towards the bottom and it says connect device manually so that you can use the pin code given by the sending device so you just click on device and it will ask you to enter the pin shown on the sending device so it is 06 Five, five and then click on connect all right so um, the the um, the two devices are now communicating this is receiving content select content to transfer so you have to now select what are the things you would like to transfer here you can see the estimated total size all the things you've got estimated available space that you've got on the phone device memory and the sd card so now you can see uh the content you want to send all your contact so if you want to do some changes because if you look at, on all the icons here you can see my yahoo contact my mail contact my whatsapp contact uh, skype contact and facebook contact and some of the contact on the same and on the phone and on the sd card this is the my s planner okay hope you guys can see just to reduce the shadow so you need to now select what are the things that you would like to transfer to the other phone 
now if you want to change the settings for contact as you can see on the right hand side of the contact you'll see something like a wheel there here you can click on that and you can select what uh, the contact you want to send to the other phone so because this is a dual sim phone i have two sim card on this phone and i do save contact on each of the sim cards so i can select what i want to send from the sim one or the sim two if or if i don't want to send from them i just untick from here if i don't want all my facebook contacts to be sent i'm gonna untick all of those and my sky contact i don't want it to be sent so i only want from um from let's say sim one if you want from everything you just make sure all the check boxes are checked Let's scroll i think that's about all and then click on done and go to the s planner the s planner is your alarm system your memo i've got 41 items in the memo if you don't want it to be sent just untick the check box if you want all the applications as well to be sent and including all your messages as you can see for the message you can see that there is um, a will like on which means there's a settings for that so let's go into the messages now do you want to send all the sms's that you've received or all the sms you have on the phone or for the last two years for the last 12 months for the last six months last three months as itemized so you just need to select whatever you've got that you want to send and once you're done with uh, your selection the ones without the wheel that means you will not be able to do anything much is either you can see the messages have um, the settings icon and the contact as one but others doesn't have you want to send all the images the music file the videos you've got the recording on all your documents you just need to select whatever you want here i hope you guys can see I hope my finger is not covering everything and once you're done selecting all you just need to do is hit on send once you hit on send all your contact everything you've got on the phone or all the things you've selected on the old phone will be transferred into your new phone i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh